on Indian Petal. Bon Allumage for Sir Henry Cecil, who is sure to be watching on from Newmarket with the misses tonight. Sir Henry, we wish you well with Frankel. Please, please, God, do whatever you can to put him right. We know you will. He's got a daughter of Naif here, Bon Allumage, for Ennismore Racing. Showed a bit of promise at Kempton on the debut. And be no surprise if he improves quite a bit. This looks a good trip for him. Nerf, who did stay up to a mile and a half, but was arguably best at around a mile and a quarter. Bon Allumage is now gone favourite. They flip-flopped again. So we opened up with three co-favourites. Bon Allumage, Candy Cakes and Indian Petal. Then Indian Petal went favourite. Then Bon Allumage went favourite. And now they're joint favourites once again. Bon Allumage and Indian Petal at 11 to 4. Candy Cakes for Ding Dong here. Number 6 on the card, Michael Bell's runner. Jamie Spencer takes them out from store number 9. And there's solid enough support for Fleeting Image for Alan Bailey. She's a daughter of Sir Percy. Probably won the worst derby of recent times, Sir Percy. But was a Dewhurst winner. And Fleeting Image didn't look too bad on the debut 29 days ago. Personally, I'd be surprised. Oh, why am I even bothering saying this? I can only end up with egg on my face. I don't need to say it. But I'd be surprised if Fleeting Image was the winner of this maiden. Considering the stables she's up against. She would have to have improved quite a bit for me for that debut fourth to beat the likes of Bon Allumage and Candy Cakes. And of course, we have no idea how good Indian Petal is. And there's this little bit of money for Arley Hall as well. So it's a fascinating maiden. Indeed, for me, the most interesting race on the Wolverhampton card tonight. And Bomber Harris will be lapping it up. Thank you, Matt. Barbara Le Blue loads, leaving Rams the only one out of line. Last one's incoming for the 32red.com maiden Philly stakes. They're set and off to race just short of a mile and a quarter. Red in essence towards the inside was rather slowly away. Bonner Lumage is keen in the early stages amongst the leaders together with Fleeting Image who runs the rail. Barbarella Blue is keen as well. Moving up on the wide outside is Candy Cakes but it's Bonner Lumage, Candy Cakes going on together from Barbarella Blue, Fleeting Image, Swift Act, then Rams and Arley Hall. Behind those is Porcini. Indian Petal held up in the last quartet alongside Silent Ambition but in front of Supreme Luxury and the slow to stride Red in Essence. Less than seven to go, Bonner Lumage and uh, Tom Queeley on the inside of Candy Cakes and Jamie Spencer. Barbara Le Blue and Swift Act are close behind the front pair as they prepare to swing down the back straight with Fleeting Image in the brown and white jacket on their inside. Arley Hall in the predominantly red silks tracks the leaders in front of Porcini, who's keen behind Rams. Next in the field is Indian Petal, who's racing alongside Silent Ambition and Supreme Luxury is at the tail of the field together with Red in Essence. They're approaching the last half mile. Candy Cakes has moved on now from Bonne Lumage, Barbarella Blue, Fleeting Image, then Swift Act, followed by Arley Hall and Rams. Indian Petal still with plenty of fillies in front of her and only three furlongs to run. Candy Cakes, the leader, passing the three from Bonne Lumage, Barbarella Blue, Fleeting Image, Swift Act and Arley Hall. Rams is making an effort on the outside, then Porcini. Then it's Indian Petal, who's only got three behind her as they race inside the last quarter of a mile and it remains Marge, Barbarella Blue, third to turn in, then Swift Act, Fleeting Image, Rams and Indian Petal taking off down the outside, entering the final furlong, Bonner Lumage has regained the initiative, drifting towards the stands rails, from in second place, Candy Cakes, Indian Petal's running on, but Bonner Lumage will win going away, Bonner Lumage has won comfortably, it's tight for second, looks as though Candy Cakes has held on from Indian Petal and Fleeting Image, the running on Porchy. Time to raise the flag at Warren Place. Sir Henry Cecil trains the winner of the Maiden Philly Stakes. And Bon Allumage. Just looking up what Allumage was in French. 
It's not a regular French word, of course, that we'd use necessarily. And by all accounts, it, its literal translation is ignition. But I presume what they were trying to get at was good gears here as much as anything. I can't believe they wanted to call it good ignition. Um, so, and it certainly got that bon allumage, was well on top. There was an obvious eye-catcher in Indian Petal, who obviously will pick up a maiden. And Candy Cakes has run a admirable race for Ding Dong. Nothing wrong with Candy Cakes. That will be winning in the near future. But Bon Allumage is too good. And gets the job done. And by my reckoning, and please forgive me, Sir Henry, if I am wrong. But by my reckoning, that is the first winner for Warren